In the beginning there was silence, the stillness of pre-creation. Prior to the first great exhale, the moment when Source projected part of its consciousness in order to create separation, and before the mother-father-god system birthed the Christ, there was silence, contemplation of creation. This passage in our ascension process reflects the stillness, the direct connection back to Source. It makes us very aware of our words and creations during the merge of higher and lower self. This is why you don't hear very much from those on the ascension path right now. Communication is difficult, strange. We can summon words to interact with others when needed. Then our higher levels pull us back into the silence. Communication shifts to harmonize with 5D structures. You will recognize it and probably be aware of it as you mimic old communication styles until the new presents. We are out of ourselves at the moment, stepping out of the old self, that walk-out sensation, in order to create deep change, a permanent merge with our higher self. There is an awareness of how powerful our creator skills are about to get, and this brings a caution toward miscreation, The higher self is rewriting our reality in alignment with the true self and divine will. It makes us aware of how much distortion has been created by our lower self. It puts us on hold. So we only desire to create as our true self. Fragments of the lower level constructs, ego, mind, emotion, are surrendered. The last bits of wavering, doubt, fears are lifted up for a last free will review. It is your lower level self choice to surrender the miscreations and all of the beliefs that came with them. In the stillness, those constructs do not exist. Note the awareness that this has already occurred if you have chosen that timeline. The delay is simply perception. Honor the stillness. Our life stream is the stream of consciousness from the top down, from the highest expression we are to the lowest and every multidimensional aspect therein. As we experience astral collapse, also known as the thinning of the magnetosphere, the veil, the 4D realm, the buffers we use to create separation begin to dissolve. Our life stream becomes clearer, purer, more direct, Energetically, you can feel quite strong. Surges of powerful frequency come through your fields and body vehicle. Know that that is you. You are feeling your own true presence. Astral collapse affects everything in our reality. Our meteor shield is down. The magnetosphere repels space objects. The sun can send new intel, codes, rays, communication straight into us. Lock your heart center onto that stream through the sun if you want the big experience. Time becomes more fluid and malleable. Distortion and miscreations are brought to the light. Notice that there is no judgment on what has occurred. Nothing requires payback or punishment of any kind. Apply this to your life stream so that you can unify with the higher levels. Our life stream is becoming somewhat intense as our consciousness expands to take in all that it has created. Let it be. Don't identify or cling to these aspects of self as they present. Ego wanted to name these, claim these multidimensional aspects because they appeared to be bigger, stronger, more interesting than our lower self. We have been abandoning that since earlier this year. It is clear that what we are becoming, what we are accomplishing on this planet, in this realm, in these physical bodies, is just as, if not more, amazing. Light and language tones may interrupt your thoughts or dominate them as the merge deepens. This is a liaison skill. It is not intended to be all light language or all grounded language. It is unity, the liaison of triality. When it is in the highest interest, either will be utilized. Engage discernment with your communication, 
Note when the subconscious desires to be heard and when your higher wisdom desires silence and integration. The veil is now self-imposed as our consciousness catches up to perceiving what occurred almost a year ago in December of 2012. Distortion and illusion cannot be maintained as you level up. The fractal geometry that you are is returned to a sacred state bit by bit as you surrender the lower level constructs. If you begin to see your light signature building around you, this is why. As the fractals of your expression are puritized, divinitized for the merge, the body consciousness needs you to act in its highest interest. This passage is tough on the body vehicle. Holding higher light frequencies rewrites the cellular structure, which affects all of the physical, the organs, nervous system, bone structure, muscles, tendons, skin, cardiovascular systems, blood, and yes, DNA. Cells are activated to return to a divine state. If they are floating in the flotsam of an old creation, they will not be able to create your true self. You may become sensitive to witnessing others' egos, emotions, or mind-level behaviors. We see the division occurring. Then witness it without judgment, then transcend it as we unify with our Christed state. It's an awareness game until you are done playing. In this world, but not of it, our focus expands to much more powerful and compassionate endeavors. Everything is complementing this shift. External energetics, the photonic bombardment of your beingness through X flares, solar wind, plasma, can only push the envelope so far. The merge is a co-creation with your higher levels, so preparation and participation are essential. Notice the distractions and release them. Notice your choices and shift as needed. Process and release the deeper issues as they surface. The subconscious is unmasked as the magnetic buffer dissipates. All of your experiences are fine. But don't get stuck if you desire to move forward. Remember who you are and what you're doing here. Take a look at your ascension progress. Forget about who is seeing or doing what. Dismiss the mind-level game of activity, the egoic win or lose, and emotional constructs of lack and need. This is a truth check. The glass is always full. Our cups runneth over when we lift the veil. You and your higher self need privacy to create a new expression. You and Source need intimate space to reconnect. Silence is indeed golden right now. The finish of 2013 is key to our ascension progress, key to our ascension process. Minimize distraction and surrender to the silence, the stream, the fractal of Source as Self. Notice the change in the magnetosphere's reaction to the recent X and M flares. These waves of light are different. They cannot be measured by traditional electromagnetic standards. The KP index doesn't show the usual impact of a typical CME, earth-facing CME, or flare activity for days and days now. It looks like the charge is broken after watching the impact of the past flares. So what is this? We have incoming waves of photonic purity. The current wave of light frequencies, which will become more intense beginning this week, are highly refined particles of light. Those pure photonic light waves are the answer to our questions, why do I feel like something wonderful is about to occur? And what is the purpose of my need for solitude, isolation, and silence? The merge passage is upon us. Personally, I have noticed a big jump in 5D and above light being activity. This is a perception change. Quite simply, I'm seeing more, hearing more, feeling more of the frequencies because the new light supports it. All of these beautiful beings are more present because I am taking the time to merge more deeply with my higher aspects. The companion piece to this new light was the preparation for it. 
the clearing, the detoxing, the silence, the willingness to be open to it. All of that work is paying off. The experience of consistent unity with these higher realms is absolute grace. I am watching aspects of myself coagulate in preparation for something new. November keeps presenting as a vital window for an intense stage of the merge. My higher self seems to be involved in the technicalities of the merge, a fascination of mine as above, so below. And I am blessed to be relieved of mind level processing right now. All of my direction is about stillness, silence, writing down what presents. It feels like something that will be helpful to others later, like trail markers left behind on the same path. True way showing is very straightforward. Demonstrate how this is done, share the experience along the way. I still feel that this passage now, all the way through December, will be glorious for those on the ascension path, including way showers, gatekeepers, and those in service to the light. Now why single out a single group uh, of the awakened collective? because the folks who have opened their life stream to be out, open, and leading the collective through the shift have set up a magnetic which draws the new experience right into their expression. By sharing the journey, doing the work, and embracing the change, we turned ourselves into conduits of the new light. Willingness to walk into unexplored passages gives you the key to those unopened doors. Some walked through, some uh, watch others walk through before moving forward. There's no judgment on that. That is just the roles that we agreed to play. For some, becoming guardians of the new light demands surrender on a galactic or universal level. In this passage, the lower expression, the incarnate, must give up any attachment to what was or will be. All of us will have a unique role, unique experience during the merge. Let us remember that we have not done this before in the body. No matter what you have heard, we are masters already, we've done this before, it's inevitable, it's already happened. The merge is to be experienced as a unique expression of source. So be it. There will be collective experiences and side effects, symptoms. However, we must honor what our higher levels want to create. Enjoy your unique experience. Know that everyone feels a little lonely right now. Know that it may feel freaky. Going sane feels a lot like going crazy. Give your higher levels the opportunity to take over. We're not leveling up with our ego, emotions, or mind level intact. You need to give your higher levels a chance to create the miraculous. Honor it with whatever makes you feel connected to your higher self and be flexible as the merge unfolds. Be in nature to receive the pure vibration and sleep, lay down, be still, so the integration and adjustments can occur. Meditate. Higher levels of light translate to higher levels of creator skills, so be aware and conscious of your choices right now. Amplifications will pick up during this window, and I do not feel that this is the time to create anything complex other than merging with the self. Isn't that enough? <laughs> Convince your mind, ego, and emotions to be satisfied with just this experience. They may rebel out of fear because they don't understand where they're going. Engage your spiritual maturity and let the nonsense go. Creating an alignment with the true self may have to wait until significant shifts occur in early November. Give it some space to show you what you are truly becoming. Surrender the doing and the busyness if you can. I promise it will be profound if you focus on your ascension process. My guidance is asking for several days of fasting and isolation. I understand why, and I know this is the best way I can support what is happening collectively in the higher realms. When I look at it, it feels like the last great purge of a collective dynamic, both painful and profound. Gatekeepers were released from the collective density. Now it feels like the body vehicle will undergo 
some major energetic changes in order to support a full embodiment of spirit, the higher self. I will write when guided to share, and I see an update prior to the November 3rd eclipse coming as the waves come in this week. Obviously, something wonderful is about to unfold. Let us hold each other in our hearts as these waves of light honor our magnetic intent to become the new.